Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are going to try something I have not tried before and I think I know why I haven't tried it. <laughs> and uh, let's see if that is... My, my judgment is accurate. <laughs> um, what I'm looking at creating is a double spiral. Um, those of you that know me have been following my um, my videos will know that <clears throat> I like the spiral shape or a kuru as we call it here in New Zealand um, it is a symbol of new life so um, what what magic am I looking to create with this um, well I've picked two colours and I've got two cups, one for each colour and my plan is, <laughs> how often do my plans go to thing? Good question. Um, my plan is to have a colour plus white in each of the cups and then do a double spiral. So I have one cup do one spiral, one cup do the other. Um, and have that come out both sides of the canvas. So one come out one side, one come out the other side. Uh, and we'll see how that works. Oh, look at that beautiful paint. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So I have just opened up my 10 litre, um, which is what, two and a half gallon, just over, under, um, pail of my spring paint from Bunnings. It's the acrylic, um, indoor, outdoor acrylic paint. And it's... My husband decided that I should buy frugally. How does it get any better? And uh, what does frugal mean to him? It means buying 10 litres of something that will take me months to use. Oh well, that's cool. Um, if he's going to buy me paint, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Hello. Now... If you've been following my channel you know that I used to use the spring and then I got given some paint by a friend a house painter friend and I've been playing with that and it hasn't really been working the one thing I did notice about the stuff he gave me was it didn't stink as anywhere near as much as this stuff does this one is headache causing when you're mixing it so the colors I've chosen are purple and lemon yellow now uh, I have oh did I put silicon on them I don't think I did so the silicon I use at the moment is this Durex Play Perfect Glide. Um, please know there is two. There's yeah, there's two types of um, this, and they are one is 100% dimethicone, and that's the purple one that I use. And the other one's made up of all sorts of natural products, all sorts of lovely aloe vera -y things. And uh, that's not going to work. So, keep that one for the bedroom and use the purple, purple black container for your painting. Anyway, so I have my two little shot glass cups and um, I only want a small amount of in each and I'm gonna put some white in with them 
just to create a, a flow, a combining but my target is to keep these two colors separate and I'll explain why when these two colors mix together like I did on this piece of paper they make a weird goopy red color kind of a bit like dry, half dry blood I don't like it so how am I going to do this I'm going to do a flip and a flip and my original thought was I would twist them together and I realized that my hands are going to get quite <laughs> caught up with each other but let's have a go anyway just try and uh, let's see I can no I can't I still have not got the neck of this and I know that there are people that use Cups that they then put holes in the bottom of them. So that you don't get the, the suction thing happening. So that's kind of the general gist of the shape I was after. Uh, the question then becomes, can I get these gaps to fill in? <laughs> I just made bigger gaps. without creating a merging of the two spirals is what I'd like to create and without losing the two spirals I love what the purple's doing. Don't even think we can gonna see the what the yellow's doing. I do really like what the purple's doing.
but I've lost my purple off the side because I wasn't watching. That's not so cool. Let's lose the yellow off the side too and see what shows up there. This is weird. I'm really liking the purple, but not so much the yellow. Mm. Okay, I've got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. What do you do when you don't like painting? You swipe it, don't you? <laughs> and then you gather all the paint up off the ground and swipe that too. my shoulder in the shot. Now, you can definitely see that we've got some silicon in there. But what we don't have is something that I like. So, now I really like that purple. So, I'm going to let that yellow still be a part of the painting. <clears throat> and, My fingers are really slimy. It's not a good deal. Okay. Now I don't have enough paint at this end. This end's quite cool. So what I'm going to do... <coughs> Let's get this foam thingy and use it to be a bit of a drag.
No, they're not dead either. Okay, what I am liking about this though, is there is some spiral that's going on. I'm just watering down this to a runnier point. I'm taking it around the edge and I'm giving it some definition. Hmm. Where did that go? Now, what I've got here is a kitchen towel. which I have run under water and wiped across <coughs> That's dripping I start from this end and 
do that. And now I'm going to just touch that center bit up. And I'm definitely seeing the silicon coming out now. <clears throat> so where's my torch? Let's see what the torch has to say. So what do you reckon? Do you like it? I don't. <laughs> I'm loving the amount of cells we're getting through here. These look cool. I'm just going to let this one develop for a bit and then choose whether I like it or not. There's a lot of cells in that purple. Just covering up some areas that have got no no paint on them at all. You know what this looks like? This looks like a cyclone weather map. Okay, so I'm going to get you down now that we've watched this develop for a bit <clears throat> and uh, show you the bits I like, show you the bits I'm not too fussed about and uh, then I'm going to let it dry because you know what, looking at it from this direction with my hands being the sides, I'm not overly fussed. But when I look at it from this direction, and you might have to turn your head to, on the video to see it like that, I actually really quite like that. So let's um, let's see what shows up when it's dry. Let me get you down. Okay, so this is what I was meaning, the angle that I quite like it at. I quite like that standing up on its end like that so there are some really pretty cells in amongst here um, especially following that big thick purple line that I put in there's some cool stuff going on it's very cool some lighter stuff on the sides 
purple definitely did the cellular. And I really like it. <laughs> I love these cells, they're beautiful. So if you have a point of view about where in the video you liked it the best, pop the time slot in the comments. So like if it's at 28 minutes and 22 seconds, put 28 colon 22 and then I can see what you're seeing. Which part of it do you like the best? Mm. Over here, there's this really lovely rolling hill kind of look. I quite like that. Almost rolling waves. So, there's some bits that don't have a lot of paint on, like over here on the edges. Um, and I think they'll be alright. I think they'll dry quite fine. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like dry. I'll be back when it is. Well, you know what? I really like this. This is so different to anything I have done in the past, and yet it is so cool. It's a bit more purple than what you see in the camera. Maybe I'll take it outside and show you it in the sunlight, see if we can capture the actual colours. I really like it. I think it's cool. It's got that tinge of yellow in it, just to give it a bit of a difference. Um, there's some dark purple patches where it hasn't mixed with the white. It's got so much variation in it to say there's only three colours, white, purple and yellow. And also all the cells are so yummy. Look at those. Yummy. How does it get any better than this, guys? When you do something, you play with it, it doesn't work, you play with it some more, and it ends up totally different than you'd planned, and yet, so totally pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want more. I do huge different variations of methods within my channel they're all to do with acrylic pouring and um, my philosophy is how much fun can we have how does it get any better than this so i super grateful for you watching and uh, if you want to watch more hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll see you in another video cheers